What's up everybody? Lazarus Fox here bringing you another Elden Ring Quickie. Today I'm going to show you a good spot to farm for souls when you're a low level. The only thing you're going to really need for this is a club. If you don't have the club, I can show you where to get that real quick. From the first steps, you're just going to turn left and head west toward this square building. If you don't have your horse, be sure to check out one of my previous quickies that will show you how to get your horse. You're going to keep coming this way, kind of to the right over here, past that erd leaf on the right. Jump down to this cliff here. Come over here to the left. Jump down again. Be careful, because if you go too far over, you will fall that way and you will die. And then we're just going to come down this little abandoned ruin here. We're going to come around here. We're going to talk to this guy. This guy will sell you a club as well as other materials that you might want throughout the game. He'll sell you the neutralizing blouses for poison, bleed loss, the build up of sleep. Uh, you always want to buy all the cookbooks. He sells the first short bow. If you need a short bow, I'm going to make another video just to show you how to get here quickly to do that. He sells you arrows and the club. The club's going to be what you need if you don't already have one. We're going to stock up on some arrows because I've been out for a while. Now from here, you can just go to your map and quick travel back to the first steps. Once you're back at the first steps, you're going to do the opposite and you're going to head directly east. When you head east and you head kind of down this way, you can see there looks to be some ruins over there. Be careful if you go too far left, something else will happen that you're probably not ready for. We're going to head east to these ruins over here with our trusty club in hand. You don't need to fight anything here, especially if you have your horse. Your horse can just go right through all this shit. You're going to come down into the Dragon Burnt Ruins. You're going to come down here, ride down the steps, past the rats, and we're going to touch this chest. This chest will then teleport you somewhere that if you were not prepared for, it might scare the living bejesus out of you. Celia Crystal Tunnels. So the chest will teleport you here. You can grab all the items in this little area. Be careful walking out here. I'm going to show you where to go. This farming spot was actually found by Shoal and Thaden on accident. And it's pretty sweet because the enemies don't really aggro on you except for the giant cockroaches. But there's a way. There's ways to avoid those too. So we're going to show you a couple different tiers. First, we're just going to hug right, go down, 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 hug this wall, hug this wall, come left. Yep, if those things hit you, you can try to roll away from them. I'm going to show you a couple spots you can hide from them, but then you're going to touch this side of grace here. Rest at it for sure to make sure you reset all of the enemies in the area. And if you go out that way, that's the way you can leave to fast travel to get back where you were in case you got stuck here on accident. But we're going to climb up this ladder. Now if you're really, really low level just starting out and all you really have is a club, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come up here and you're just going to want to focus on these two guys. Now the reason we have the club is because these guys are weaker to strike damage. They take more damage from a blunt weapon than they do a sword. And normally you can kill them before they kill you. Uh, if you're having trouble, maybe go grab a couple levels and come back here. Make sure you pull them away when they're trying to do certain moves like that because those will definitely mess you up. You want to acquire these crystals here. Heal on your way back down. If you're having trouble with those guys hitting you, you can hide behind this rock here for a minute. Make sure you have a shield. Normally they can't hit you somewhere around this area. I think it's right here. It's right here. Let's test it. Nope. I think it's this rock right here, actually. So you're going to come hug this homie right here. See? He died. It'll happen. It'll happen multiple times while you're farming this spot. It's really easy if you just sprint. I was just trying to show you a spot to hide. But when you're really, really low level, you're going to just want to kill those two dudes. Run back, reset, kill those two dudes. They're giving you 230 a pop. So that's pretty good if you're like level 1 through 5, 1 through 10, something like that. 
So what we're going to do now is say you've gotten comfortable killing those two guys and running back over and over again. I'm going to show you the next level. So if you want to farm a little bit more and you're really comfortable killing those guys. Another thing I should point out is if you have a fireball spell, the fireballs are going to be much more powerful against these guys than the blunt weapon is. I don't have my main fireball equipped, otherwise I'd show you it. I just have my black flame right now. So, say you have a fireball equipped, just fireball these bitches, get your 230 quickly. Now, instead of attacking anything else, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna, we're just gonna mash triangle on all these precious materials, trying to avoid getting shot in the face and run down. Now, as you run down here, you can turn around and you can see a few more will actually follow you down. And you can try to take them on two at a time, one at a time. You can jump down the ladder if you're struggling. That cockroach is awake now, so we're not going to really fight anymore. So then you're going to come back down. That gave you two extras, so now you're farming four at a time. Giving you double the souls you were doing from the first part of the run. Now, if you're really comfortable with that, and you have what you need to kill that cockroach, we're going to show you how to ultimately farm this spot. I wouldn't go much further than this if you're just farming. You definitely can and start to kill everything in this cave. That'll definitely net you some pretty ridiculous souls. This is a very good area to farm. And the fact that you can teleport here so early on in the game makes it super easy. So same thing. We're going to kill these guys. Throwing our fireballs at them. Now... Instead of running and grabbing all that stuff from right here, we're going to stand and either shoot him with an arrow or throw shit at him. I have a fireball, so it makes it super easy. The fireball is really easy to get if you made it to the round table, and it's fairly easy to equip. I think the base fireball doesn't even require much to use. Yeah, he's going to do this stupid shit now. If he's doing that, he is a lot harder to kill. That does a lot of damage. I'm a lot higher level now, so it's not doing as much damage. But then after you kill him, you can come over here, kill this one, grab all these delicious crystal materials, and then go reset down there. Now, if you're feeling super comfortable and you don't want to do that, or you want to go further, there is more enemies up here. You're going to want to be a little careful, though, because there's usually a homie walking around here. I don't see that homie. So you're going to want to come up here. This cockroach is going to wake up. Centipede, cockroach, whatever. You're going to want to kill him before he gets his stupid shit off. And then, yeah, other homies right there. So I wonder if I can hit him with this. So far enough. Oh, it does. Oh, okay. Like I said, if you have the spells to do it, definitely try. If you don't feel comfortable doing this area, do just a little bit at a time, starting with the two, then the four, and then up to the cockroach and the fifth one, and you're getting thousands of souls each run. Uh, even doing this right here, this is probably where even I would stop, because that's probably about where I feel comfortable. If you're trying to do this area, you have to jump over here, then jump over here and then go through the area further. I might do another walkthrough or playthrough of this area because I have the shortcut unlocked already just to show you a couple things. We definitely struggled in this area quite a bit, but we figured a lot of it out and it's it's still probably one of our favorite spots to farm just in the terms of ease. But in terms of souls, we have found a couple better spots. I will make shorts on those videos later. If you're liking these Elden Ring quickies, Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.